This damn city, an original manuscript by J.T. Hounsley. Gentle reader, from your bedchamber, you could only guess at the thievery and general backhandedness that runs life in the streets like a pack of hungering, hungering rats. But now, steal yourself, for your humble author means to guide you into that very darkness. Picture, if you will, a villain in the shadows, a big man, white of face and jowl and figure, smelling both sweetly and of flophouse sweat, and a muskier scent you might guess to be the dark of some wild bird. Indeed, look, the bird itself comes as if from the maw, with a dastardly flapping to a light on his dirtied fingers, stained yellow with pipe smoke. Baffo arises. Like bad perfume, laid on thick. Who wears bad perfume? Is it Baffo or is it the the uh, author of the book? Wow! I cannot believe I I I, I am just. Astonished right now. I have no idea how I could have managed to have missed that and looted everything else. Okay, we have two more. Although I have already tried to find Alfonso's place and failed. Then again, that is nothing new. Are the guards still patrolling over here? No, do they piss off finally? Okay, if I were Alfonso's place, I would probably be located higher somewhere. Or maybe I would be all the way around this because I can't actually get over that direction. Okay, guess I will make the long trip around. See if I can find my way in over here somewhere. No, I believe I was already over here at some point. Let me guess. Back in there. No, no, that does not appear to be the right location. Hmm. Yes, they already went through here. Just takes me right back out here. And then he is still over there somewhere. Son of a bitch. Yes. Damned city navigations. Hmm. God, there's like nothing right there. Um, where does that take me? I don't know. I'm gonna check that door out real quick. Oh my god, he grabbed the ladder. Oh, now I remember this place because that is the ladder that he just jumped down from and broke his legs earlier. So, how the shit do I get over there? Hmm. Oh, whatever. I'm just going to explore until I find it and then I will meet you there. Ah, so there is another way to exit from the doctor's laboratory back onto the street. And apparently that also requires a loading screen. Oh my god. Unknown territory. Now I am very nervous. Get it. Doing a little hanky panky down there? Probably not. Hey, I'm on the right path, finally, so. Success! Make sure there's no guards waiting to beat my ass. Even though I ended up getting into a fight with the. Damn, dude! <laughs> take it easy on your legs! Oh, really? I can take you down? <laughs> That's so tempting. I shall resist. I shall. Yeah, sometimes the graphics in this game, like when stuff's, I don't know, loading, or maybe it's because of the light, lighting or something like that, but it gives certain items a shine and makes it look like they're lootable, even though they're not. It can be very distracting sometimes. Doesn't happen too often. I think it's only happened about three times maybe so far, but... Ooh, random lock to pick. Don't mind if I do. But yeah, then I run over there and I'm like, oh yeah, something to snatch up, but it's nothing. It's just some random ass light or something. 
You better have some good stuff in here for that being a four star wanted level door picking thing. Where the light switch at? People waste so much electricity in this game. No one heading around the corner. Better not be anyone down here. I'll knock your punk ass out. Because I will kind of be forced to. Because, yeah, there's like no room to maneuver around here. Well, what do we have back here? Probably some sort of evil trap waiting to kill me. No, just a few random ass gold coins. Ah, hidden button. Woohoo, you sneaky, sneaky bastards. Oh my god, I got a poppy? Hell yeah. De definitely need that. Um, that chair looks really odd. Oh, and I need. Oh my god. That is really disturbing. Naked woman boobs with some sort of like goat or other animal head attached to it. Yeah, that is highly offensive there, good sir. If only I could show you the wrongs of your ways by stealing that from you. But I cannot. Ooh, is that another plaque? Nice. Three down, 13 to go. Uh, by earning gold, eternal clock. Yeah, nothing worth checking out on the info screen for those. Probably shouldn't be running around here all willy nilly, but. But I'm doing it anyway. Living dangerously. Maybe I'll discover some sort of... Yep, that's about what I was I was about to say. Maybe I'll discover some sort of shortcut back to the other area. Okay, where is this located? Oh, really? Right up the evil ladder of doom. Right there. Ha! Who'd have thunk it? So there was another way to get to that area. Good to know. Even though it's just a waste of everybody's time at this point. Always good to know alternate ways to go. You two stop bitching at each other. Oh no. Dude, beggars can make some serious bank, man. Really, they do like those undercover stories on people who, who, uh, beg for a living, you know, and they're actually like really rich and stuff. What is that last warning letter? Stop trying to duck me, Molly. I lent you the coin months ago, and it's well past time you paid up. I'll be waiting for you at the usual place in Muddler's Road. Don't make me pay you a visit. Well, too late for that, because that bitch is dead. Ah, oh, dude. Keep your nasty-ass germs to yourself. Thank you very much. Hand-tailored client job. Nice. Oh, so this is like a special job area. Guess that's probably why I couldn't just get to it all simple-like, like all the other optional objectives. Tire. According to Hector, this is where I'll find the hand to scratch his back. Shut up, Ragbag! This is a private party! If you're still here in three seconds, you're spending the night with the eels. One, two, two and a half, two and three quarters, three. It smells terrible around here. It's me. I'm sorry. I got all kinds of bo issues. Alrighty. Guess I will probably have to sneak into the place. Now, are you a guard or are you just like a bouncer type person? Because. I don't know, the way you're just sitting there, I don't really s Oh shit. Oh shit. He's some sort of guard person. I was stupid. I apologize. <laughs> that dude just sits down and goes to sleep. <laughs> okay, not 
trying to piss that dude off. Like a dog in a cage, me. Excuse me as I swoop past you. And then come... Nope, nope, nope. He's got his little eye icon above his head. Not even dealing with that shit right now. Ooh, I saw some sort of bling bling in there. But first and foremost, we put out the candles. Yay for gold. I'm a rich son of a bitch. Wait, wait, wait. I oh, know that clock kind of made me suspicious with its noise. Really, if I was going to hide some valuables, I would most definitely hide it in my clock like that. I asked the eel biters for clothing, not putrid rags. What are those stains, anyway? Even the tailors found a way to milk the gloom for a profit. The fabric's rancid. I won't give you a single coin. Fine. We'll toss your face for valuables. Wait, wait. <laughs> Don't be hasty. Give me a moment and I'll arrange your payment. Get on with it. Yeah, you should go to some secluded area so I can rob that ass. Oh, it's another poppy. Ah, I'm going to have to start keeping an eye out for those. Thanks for your claw, Aaron, even though you're, I'm assuming, dead and gone now forever. I do thank you for contributing to my continued success as a thief. Gotta love the cover of darkness. Damn it, man. I really need... To go back and see if I can buy some new tools and stuff. Because I am missing out on all kinds of loot. Oh shit. Oh shit. There is... Yeah. I'm going to go the safe route. <laughs> Someone's taking a leak. That is disgusting, man. Okay, make sure I'm not gonna like pop out right in someone's face this time. Might as well. I mean, I'll say to her, it's my way or the family's way. That's what we're all here for. Is that you right there, or is that like some sort of? I don't know where you are, and it's making me nervous. Like, I want to say your leg like right here, but there's some odd audio. I don't know if they're glitches or what they are, but there are very odd audio cues in this game, so to speak. So sometimes it is really hard to tell where people are. Because, by all means, if somebody is... No! God damn it. No! Jump back up there, you son of a bitch! Damn it! Oh, I'm right, right back out here. Hang on, whatever. I'm just gonna like. I'm running for it! I'm running for it! Nobody sees nothing! <laughs> Man heard something, but you didn't see nothing! And I missed all kinds of lootables right in here. Yeah, like I can hear that dude and the audio makes it sound like he is on the same floor as... Ah, there he is. City. Yeah, like I said, the audio made it sound like he was on the same exact floor as me, but... Where is he stashing his coin? I'll be damned if I could find him anywhere. Like, really, I... I was pretty damn sure he was taking a leak in that toilet right there. But I could most certainly not find him anywhere. But now I did, so. And I'm just gonna go ahead and knock your punk ass out, cause you are making me all kinds of nervous. Good night. Good night. Sleep tight. Feel free to let the bed bugs bite. Here I shall throw you on the bed. There you go. Sweet dreams, you son of a bitch. 
Yeah, as much as I would absolutely love to be a ghost in this game, for the sake of me and for the sake of you who are watching this, ooh, the statuesque lady, to keep one's figure trim and healthy, fasting and tight corsery are a must. But yes, for the sake of you and also for the sake of me, since it would probably take me infinitely longer to play this game if I was going for a straight up ghost playthrough, I will probably be knocking out the majority of people that are in my way like that. Uh, Alfonso, forgive my sudden disappearance. I was forced to enter hiding after my disagreement with the Baron. Still too dangerous to contact you in person. Please keep the hand safe for now. I'll be in touch with further details as soon as I'm able. Hmm. Hmm. Man, you got all kinds of good shit in here. I'm not even going to close your closet because I see no reason to hide my tracks since I knocked out the guard up here. Although I should probably make one final sweep with my supervision. Okay, apparently I could have lit a fire there for some reason. Don't know why I would actually want to do that. But options are good. Oh, maybe I could have, like, done that to distract the guard because he'd be, like, a dipshit and be like, Oh, there's a random fire going. I shall warm my testicles on the random fire that has started itself in the fireplace. 